so we just found a place to do a parallel parking and I just pressed that when it appears and now the car is going forward a little bit and going a little left the lane mark is a little not visible that much and it is parking in front of this car which is nice hello everyone we are back with another full self-driving video where we're gonna test that auto park feature in version 12.3.6 and remember my car has ultrasonic sensor, so in version 12.3.6, Tesla enabled that auto park feature, so we're gonna try it. Let's see how the car performs. As you guys can see, the parking feature is now enabled here, and you can tap where you wanna park. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna park right over here, the next one I'm gonna park, yes. So what I'm gonna do, press here, and press start and now let it go and we'll see how the car handles this one so car is going a little left and going a little forward now it's gonna turn on the reverse camera which is nice and now the car is doing it let's see how the car handles it it seems like it's doing it perfectly there is no confusion the car is staying in the middle if you see this two white line and you see this camera, the car perked that car perfectly. Pretty impressive, right guys? So what we're gonna do is go a little far right now and we'll try in between two cars so we can see if the car can handle it. So we're gonna go straight and make a left here. There is one car, the door is open. Other than that, everything should be fine. I'm not sure if there is anyone here. But I'm going to see if the car can do it. So it is showing the parking space. So we'll see if the car can handle it. So I just pressed it when it appears. And now the car is going forward a little bit and going a little left to adjust the position of the car. And we are going to make that reverse right now. The car is doing it perfectly, very nice. It is seeing everything and I can see other cars from my window. And the car is going and you can see that a little red over there. So the car is very nice, right guys? It's parked, it automatically says auto park complete. Very impressive job. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go a little far from here. Okay, so now we're going to try another thing. That is, we're going to tell the car to park a little far from where we are. So right now we can park here, but what I, what if like we're going to park there? So let's see if the car can handle this one. So we press a start. The car already see that mark road. And what the car is doing is going a little slowly creeping. And now it is going a left to adjust the car position. And it can mark there that we're going to park here. And we'll see that the car is parking. The car just turned on its reverse gear. And now it's parking very nicely done. Very, very nice. No problem. No hesitation. The car. I'm still going to say the car parked a little slow. Because there is like no other car in left and right. Uh, but the car decided a little slow. Uh, like how it parked. But... For the first version, I will definitely gonna say it is impressive. And we're gonna try one more time. We'll see if the car can do it. The lane mark is a little not visible that much. So that's why probably, and we are probably going a little fast. So if I go eight, nine or five, then the parking appears, but it's not appeared that much. What if like we have a space on our left, but we wanna park here? What if we can go there? Let's see. So the car, Already turns on its reverse gear and it is trying to park. There is another car. We'll see if the car can handle this one. And it is parking in front of this car, which is nice. It can see that white mark. It is not that much of like visible mark, but it's still the car can read it and it can park. Very nice job. It parked perfectly. As a human, he made a mirror error that it is almost close to that white line. But as a computer uh, generated parking, the car parked exactly in the middle. You can see this white line, white line, and it is very accurate, right? 
So we're gonna do a parallel parking, but we definitely have to look for a space for a parallel parking. Let's see if the car can handle this parallel parking. So we just found a place to do a parallel parking and what we're going to do, I'm just going to press, it's going to do what it want to do. So what I'm going to do is just start. We'll see if the car can handle this one. So the car is going forward right now and is going a little left. The steering wheel movement you guys can see. Now it's going to turn on its reverse camera and it is doing it. Very nicely done. Very, very nice it's still now. Okay, okay, okay. No. I think it's gonna hit no, right. No. Are you sure? Yeah. Sure thing? Yeah. So sure? Yeah, I'm like this. Oh wow. It was going that like exact in that way, but when I braked it decided to go a little back and then decided to do it. Now it's going a little forward to adjust its position. Very, very nice. I got a little nervous, guys, because of that. Like, it was very close to that Kia, but it did it perfectly. So, right now, as you guys can see, right over there, there is a parallel parking spot, and we're going to try to park here. So, we'll see if the car can handle this one. It is a little slow, but it is deciding what to do. So, now it is going to that, uh, close to that white car. Uh, make a space now by going a little left. Now it's gonna turn on its reverse gear and it is doing it. So let's see how the car handles this one. This time it has so much space and it can do it perfectly. Very, very nice job. No complaint. Very good job. So now it's gonna adjust the space between these two cars. It's gonna go a little forward and we have equal space in back and right and you guys can see that red mark because there is a carve over there and the car did it perfectly right guys thank you so much for watching guys please i request you if you guys are new in this channel make sure you subscribe to our channel and i wish you uh, have a wonderful wonderful day